What's up, what's up, YouTube? Let's get going. We have a lot to go over tonight. So in tonight's video, I'm going to cover quite a bit. Uh, we got the, the update with SoftBank. We got all the FANG stocks uh, rocking and rolling. Uh, we got, man, I guess just a ton. Uh, let's get into it. So much. That was, that was going to be an awesome intro, I promise. Uh, imagine it was a really cool intro. Um, but let's get into it. So first of all, let's break down the market. I'm going to break down um, the FANG stocks and Tesla. You guys know that. Uh, after that, I'm going to turn to the chat. So if you guys want call outs or plays or anything like that, that's the time to post it in there. And let's let's see where, where we can go. Some of the best plays are usually from, from you guys after. You guys know I don't run a scanner. I trade the same stuff over and over again. But occasionally, I get a uh, some plays from you guys. You guys call it some good stuff. So... Finally got a green day. <laughs> Let's make this a little bit wider. We're gonna get right into it. Uh, we got jammed packed. Erica, what do you mean you finally got a green day? We got to uh, thoughts on Shill. Uh, they got an update. So um, update on Shill. The um, the vote is gonna happen on the twenty eighth uh, of this month. So after that, there'll be the announcement right after that. So look for the excitement going into that. Um, if you had any options contracts before. Um, you know, definitely probably going to be one to uh, move to the October. Those are very liquid contracts, uh, but your next date actually is October. Oil is down 1%. The market is crashing now. No. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, if you're a YouTube member or you're in the mentorship, you guys know this. We got new charts. A uh, new chart link is posted for you guys in the community tab. Uh, charts chat if you are in my mentorship. Uh, so right now we we're kind of watching. We, we broke this down last night. We got the bounce out of that zone. We are pushing up. As you can see, this is still in a very clear just channel down right now for the uh, on a four-hour trend at least. Uh, so we're kind of watching this right here. Now, one really cool thing about this, and we're going to – let's get through the markets. Uh, we got a lot of things that look like this day, right, where, where it just pushed up. And is it just an awesome time to get in short? You guys know I've been talking about that. Um, or are we headed all-time highs? You can see right here, this is the Q, so Q, Q, Q. Uh, we're kind of making that bull flag or reversal pattern. We talked about this being a zone right here. Grabbed it from back here. So right there is what kind of made that zone. Uh, and then we know we got this zone right up here that I was kind of keeping an eye out for. Kind of not really back on track till we get above that. Now we could make a lower high at any point in time. So we can make a lower high here, here. Um, we might struggle at the 12,000 mark. But other than that, your top zone is going to be right up here. Any one of these before could be a lower high. I do think the Qs still need to cool off a little bit. In fact, let's bring up the uh, the retail indicators. Let's get on the uh, daily. We're not really oversold yet. So we were overbought. We're, we're, we're pulling back. Weekly looks like that might try to curve and come down. Uh, you guys know how I feel about indicators, right? How often are they right? How often are they wrong? And if your sales pitch starts with, now not every time it's right. Um, that I don't really care about every time that's um, right or wrong either. I just don't care about them. Uh, but that being said, tech probably does need to cool off. Now, we got the massive sell-off inside of tech, and we found out it was SoftBank, and then there was some uncertainty going on, like did SoftBank close out their positions? What's going on? Did everybody find out that SoftBank was just pumping billions into the market, playing Powell? And then, uh, you know, so are we selling off because everybody found out and it created that uncertainty? Or were they closing positions? And we found out today they were actually closing positions. So I think that actually takes some of the fear and the uncertainty out of the market, which is why if you were in my mentorship, and I think I talked about it on Sunday, I was looking for the relief rally to actually get in short. Uh, charts still set up that way. It still kind of looks like it. But I held on to some long positions today after finding out that news. So we, the Qs bounce perfectly right here. Uh, right now we're in that speed bump zone. Bull flag or reversal, they will both look the same. So we're going to kind of watch right here. So anything above that, probably bull flag playing out. Anything below this red wick, probably the uh, reversal coming in coming in hot. So the S&P, SPX, still in this nice little channel up. I'm delete that. Uh, again, same situation. We bounce out of this zone. Are we going to make it up to this zone? Bull flag or reversal right here. Now, one thing I wanted to talk about, uh, again, SoftBank closing their positions. 
is the fear coming away? And somebody actually, I haven't even logged into this today until somebody told me to check this out. And look what happened after close. So right at the bell, someone loads up on XLK. This is a brand new position across multiple markets, uh, at least over a million. That's what these golden sweeps are, These, these uh, the ones that are highlighted gold. Oh, random spy one. Spy so liquid, we see 2.2 million in there. Cause for concern, nothing I would follow, to be honest. That's not a big position for something as liquid and big as SPY. But look at the VIX. VIX, 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 VIX. Look at that. 1.1 million, a bunch of small ones. That tells me, so they bought puts on the VIX. That is your fear index. That's the old charts. Um, now, we got the sell-off, but even at the end of the day, they still sold off even more. They bought it in VXX. So that tells me even they're thinking this is going to go down even further. And we look at some patterns. That's usually what it does. You got a nice little spike up. It bleeds down for lower lows. And it just continuously does that. So that being said, we're not really out of the uh, out of the game until we get probably... You know, I had a line right here. I'm going to put the line right right here now. We're going to change it just a bit. Uh, and if you're new to my channel and how I how I do things, I don't actually trade the VIX. One, those futures contracts are pretty expensive, so I don't like buying them for that reason. Uh, but two, you know, it, it's the fear index. It's either on or it's off. You know, it, it, that that's it. I always tell everybody, your next candle is going to be green or red. Have some confidence. Just make the play. Take it. You don't need to be stupid, running gun, shooting from the hip. But don't be paralyzed when it's time to take a trade either way. Your next candle is going to be green or or red. Uh, but when the VIX is high like that, it is going to be a big green candle or a big red candle. This is not an inverse of SPY, right? But usually when there's fear and uncertainty, the markets are usually selling off. People are pulling their money back out. Uh, let's see. Party's over. <laughs> uh, let's see. What's up, everybody? Uh, so anyway, that was some huge news for me. Uh, seeing that they actually sold their positions like that, I was definitely on board with that. Amazon was a monster today. Look at that. So we closed. I was going to watch out right here. It was a little late to the game. We gapped up. I was watching for rejection here. We took off. So I am still in Amazon. Uh, I don't really care. Usually I don't see trends like this uh, on my computer. I, have you ever noticed somebody will do that? And they're typically bearish. But they'll have like a, a trend line up top or something, and then just a bunch and a bunch and a bunch of trend lines to the downside. I don't usually mark those out, but that self was steep enough that we were talking about it. Likes are free. I appreciate it. Hit that like button. And actually, 106 of you guys here. Are every one of you guys subscribed? I'm like 70 away from hitting the 11K mark, which is huge. I never gained 1,000 subs that fast. So I want to see if I could hit it tonight because I'm at like 930, which is so awesome for you guys. It's amazing. I don't know if somebody's buying subs because... I'm not emotional, but that would suck if you guys were buying subs. Here I am thinking I'm doing a good job. <laughs> and then I'm just, I suck at life. <laughs> I do appreciate you guys that are subbed, though. Uh, but do me a favor, hit that like button for me. Uh, and comment once it's done. Tesla. We guys saw Tesla today. Uh, I think I bought the broken one. I was in t Tesla most of the day. Look at this nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, 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 it's up. Like, cool. You know, I swung Tesla last night, by the way, so I was already up, and then it just did this. It's like, eh, is it time to cut? No. Yeah. Uh, here we, yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. And then we finally got going up. Like, Tesla felt broken all day today. Even this looks exciting. This is what the chart actually looks like. Just a nothing. Um, so I like to see that it's pushed up after hours. This is the area I'm going to watch out for. I think if we get above this, we're going to be a little bit bullish. However, I say this all the time. This last hour candle, mm, well, that's not that much. Uh, usually we'll, we'll be right back down here. So for tomorrow, I'm watching out for this. Uh, Elon, please shout out. I mean, listen, Trevor from Nikola, he said he'll help you. Take him up on that. Yeah. <laughs> Can you say it with a straight face? Did you guys catch that? From, you probably don't watch Nicola or Trevor. Man, he told Elon that there's no point in them burning each other down and Trevor can help Tesla, Elon. So it was a super sincere message. So I, I don't want to make fun of it at the same time. Like, first of all, Nicola and GM partnered up. Nicola is the electric beast. You know, we got all this cool stuff. We're the best. And GM's not even using their batteries. <laughs> Hey, yeah, yeah, well, we'll partner with you if you pay us and we got to use all our stuff anyway. But can we use your Photoshop drawings? 
you pay us, give us your poster, and, and we'll call it good. And now he's over here talking about how he can help Elon. Go away. <laughs> as sincere as that was, I don't know if I would say that with this series. I would probably laugh if I was Elon. If Tesla is bullish until battery day, I'm going to sell and buy back in. Yeah, I got to be honest, guys. It, it's battery day. I expect some crazy stuff. I think a lot of people expect some crazy, crazy stuff, and that might lead to the bullish run up. It'll be like an earnings play, much like Peloton tomorrow. Quite the run up. How many of you guys think Peloton's going to just go crazy on earnings? Because I'm thinking about shorting it, if I'm being honest. Uh, so Brad from Own the Chaos, he's going to go live uh, tomorrow for the uh, Peloton earnings. I'm going to do the after party. So same time here. We're going to go over you know, Peloton again, probably break some stuff down for you guys. But let's see if we catch any hype. Make Tesla some nice pictures. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Uh, so I am still bullish here. Watching out for that. Uh, just to be clear, as far as the cues go, I want to make sure we get a bull flag above this. If we do wake up here in the morning, I want to see if we base out. I'm going to keep a nice stop. If we do tag this upper zone, I'm expecting some sellers. So some bullish stuff, I'll definitely tag out. I don't know how short I will be. Uh I'm already in a short position. I told you guys, if once we got the relief rally, I was going to go short. Um, I just didn't intend on holding any long positions. So I, I thought this stream I'd be telling you guys, ask the mentorship last night. I said, tomorrow, we're going to be the relief rally. I'm going short. Uh, seeing today and getting the news from SoftBank, I decided to uh, just scale out of some long positions and grab a little bit of a short position. Uh, so tomorrow, that one will be down. Uh, once we break above this, that, that's a pretty bullish sign for me. I'm um, still kind of on eggshells until we at least get up here. But as news looks, looks like we might be rocking and rolling. So if we do tag this zone, some sellers do show up. I will tag out of the stuff I'm in. Uh, you'll see likely all the tech stocks will correlate and look pretty similar. Uh, now, if we pull back to this zone, I'm having my alerts here. If I see it start to bounce and make that higher low here, now, now we can probably uh, get a little crazier on the uh, long positions. I'm not in anything now that can actually hurt. Right now, of course, red day suck. Um, Monday was red enough for me. I don't. It's not very often I have a red day, uh, so I got to make up for that. Um, so, the Badgers fire <laughs> in pictures and my dreams. Yeah, I think the Badgers are really cool. And to be honest, in a dream world, Nikola partners with Tesla. They make the Nikola Tesla truck. So it's basically the Badger poster. Elon go, goes ahead and makes it, and it's actually powerful, and it's amazing. And the little badge is just like a silhouette, something like you'd see on like a coin, just the silhouette of uh, Nikola Tesla's head. Like, how cool would that be? That'd be the coolest truck. I'd have two of them. Elon, if you're listening and you do that, I won't be mad at you. Just do it. This, I'm still going to own the Space Wedge, but I don't think America was ready for that kind of move yet. Up, up, and away. <laughs> Wait, what? Are we talking about uh, Nikola and Badger keychains? <laughs> Apple screens and Tesla car? Yeah. That'd be cool. If Elon is watching, you better like and subscribe. That'd be the coolest thing. If Elon is watching my, watching my stuff. Let's get those likes up. Do me a favor. Let's get, let's get rock and roll. Let's get into this. Elon will never join forces with those losers. <laughs> yeah. It's a sincere message, but what does Nikola actually bring to the table? Nothing. We're still talking about hydrogen? Come on. Uh, U.S. dollar. So we saw some strength and rejection out of this. Again, going to be bullish above here, bearish below here. If you've been following me for a while, you guys know I was in Euro USD, right? And I was uh, going long, and then I kind of went short, and we played this stupid game long enough, uh, so I'm out of it. I'm actually in the Euro CAD position. I was. It tagged today. I moved my stops up. I actually, all I got was a notification. I didn't even look to get back in. I kind of want to wait till I got to my computer. I want to see if we break above here. If we break above this, uh, I'm going to go ahead and short the Euro USD. And uh, if we break down here, I mean, if we look at these trends, it's just basing out. There's really not much else we can say. Uh, yeah, there's just not much going here. Just a trend down, flat, full stop. Uh, I was in this position today long, moved my stops up. So, and I actually just got in on the dip here uh, the other day. So, rocked it up, added on, added on, added on. This this one actually tagged me out today. Uh, in fact, let me get right back in right now. While I do this, guys, 
Uh, I'm going to start bringing you some options videos. It, someone actually commented on the videos, and, and I don't mean to, to call you out by any means. I, I forgot your name. I'm sorry. Uh, he commented on here and told me what Delta was. <laughs> I was talking about Deltas in another video, and uh, he's like, actually done. Delta is for the rate of change per dollar or something. The, the normal description that every YouTuber talks about, and that's it. It's like they just get that far and stop there. Um, it's actually embarrassing. And not for you guys. For the YouTubers you guys are following getting your information from. Uh, Delta, there's about 11 different ways you can use Delta. And just go in here knowing that uh, when it goes up, because I told you guys it's per share basis. <laughs> <laughs> That's what he tried correcting me on. Uh, so full blown. I have an options course down below if you guys want to know everything there is to know about the Greeks and actually understand options and stop losing money on it. I am a mentor on the WeTrade HQ platform where I go live every night, even tonight. Every night before the stock market opens the next day. We break stuff down, talk about the market, how we want to see things shake out. So for right now, I'm getting in EuroCAD. We're going long. Stop is going to be right below that current low, right? Just a tad bit lower right here. This is not a call out or anything. Uh, we're going to buy this. Uh, in fact, I suck at trading, so I wouldn't even copy it. My take profit is going to be right here, as a matter of fact. Take profit. Whoa, hold on a second. Uh, we're going to redo that. Sorry, I've actually moved my... So everything has an entry, a take a stop loss, and a take profit. Everything, no matter what. There is no if, ands, or buts. Uh, but I actually just moved my entry way up to a limit price. So hang on. Wanda is a beast at this. So we got about a 30 pip stop and about an 85 pip gain. Take profit. But by the time that actually moves up, I'll delete the take profit. I will scoop my stop loss up. Probably add on to the position. And if it wants to go to the moon, I'm going with it. Second turns around, I'm out. <laughs> Wait, hold on, Don. Can you go over everything? I just got here. <laughs> how was the last week of october for our golf match what about the week prior like the i think it's like the 19th i'm definitely down i'm not ready for a uh, a bet though <laughs> i just built the net in my backyard to get my practice on so i'm not ready for that kind of competition but if anyone wants to come play golf let me know i suck and if you can give me some pointers come on Everyone's saying Tesla stock will go to the moon. It's going to go to Mars. <laughs> What's our? I mean, your entry. <laughs> so Brian's in the mentorship. Uh, I joke about it all the time. It's funny to me because, uh, you know, I, uh, well, first of all, I'm not dumb. People do copy me. And, uh, well, I do make it a bright yellow box for you guys. But it'd be funny when people, what he's joking about is, Someone will always get a message like, hey, what's our stop? <laughs> like, our, like, you know, he and I just, just teamed up to buy this stuff, just joined forces. Oh, you bought that at that zone? I agree too. Uh, but don't ask me what our stop is. Just say, hey, Don, what's your stop? I'm not a financial advisor. I do not give call outs at all, ever. I can't tell you what to do, but I can tell you what I'm doing. Let's keep it that way. Uh, my stop was 30 pips down. Market order, 30 pips down. I like turtles. <laughs> I want to be like Don, trade while playing golf and chill. Piece of cake. Do all your work the night before with nothing moving. If you're new to my channel, that's what I do. That's why I stream at night. Because I get it all ready. I like to see while nothing's moving, there's no volume, nothing crazy going on. Find where the price makes sense. I buy when it makes sense. Not any other reason. Not the news. Not not any anyone telling me what to do. Uh, set the alert there. And then tomorrow, the next day, I'm doing whatever. I get stir crazy. I'm not at my desk. 99% of my trades are from my phone. Even as I sit here, I trade from my phone. Uh, when the alert tags, we go ahead and get in. Uh, it's actually a piece of cake. Gold, I don't think I'm actually bullish gold. I think if anything, I'd be more bearish. Uh, so actually looking at it, we got this flat support right here. Call it whatever you want. We got just the line in the sand where it's just getting bought up right here. So definitely something to take note right here. Right inside this. All right, we haven't gone anywhere. Anytime it gets behind there, below it, it gets bought right back up. But look at how, look at the follow through we're getting through. None. We got bought up, came right back down. Had it based out, finally got some convinced buyers in there, and then right back down. 
And I'm kind of curious if we even get to this zone again. Gold's actually starting to look bearish. So, uh, same with as far as the miners go. I don't know if I'd take that play just yet. Eh. Yeah, you know, I probably would. If I was going to take a JNUG, or sorry, JDST position, I'd probably give it some wiggle room. I wouldn't want it going above here. And that's kind of where my stop would be at. Normally, I like to buy in these zones when it makes sense. But in the fact that we're making lower highs, I can see the momentum maybe starting to die out here. You're definitely catching a knife. I mean, you're jumping in the middle of on the tracks. This freight train honking its horn. Nothing saying it's slowing down just yet. You might want to wait for that to kind of base out maybe a little bit early. Uh, or at least get to the zone and go short there. I don't think I'm bullish to metals right now. Silvers, silver, or sorry, metals, silver, we're kind of getting above that, but I don't think so. Maybe. Nonetheless, it's just been range bound. So we could be buying it here with an easy stop right below here. I think I'd rather take the short position, maybe grab it. I'd still like a dip buy down here, though. Even if it comes to this lower zone and comes back up for a lower high, there's still some meat on the bones to grab a silver play from there to there. Starting to think it's best to do it at night because trading in the morning is too tempting. Yeah, everything's going crazy. Also, if you're on the one minute and five minute, jump out. I don't know if I've said this enough. I got a lot of new viewers. Get out of the those. I don't want to call them crap time frames. There's a lot of noise, a lot of static in there, and emotionally, you're just seeing a bunch of red, a bunch of green. You're you're starting to convince yourself of why you should be long or short, but in the midst of you even doing that, it switches directions on you. Get the bigger picture in mind. Gold looks like a huge hammer on glass. I agree. Will stimulus news shoot the dollar up or drop it? Should drop it. Uh, which would put gold up. Um, so be careful there. I did talk about Tesla. Uh, good news, Nikola's going to join forces with Tesla, and they're going to make the Nikola Tesla truck. <laughs> How many guys just like, what? No, just kidding. Uh, Trevor said that on, on Twitter, or in an interview I saw on, on Twitter. Um, said he would help Elon out. What a guy. Uh, as much as I do make fun of Trevor, I wouldn't trust a word that guy even says. He hasn't doesn't bring anything to the table. That message did sound sincere. i got to give him that. Oil finally got above, kind of the same thing the market's doing, lower high, we got above the zone, like we were definitely bearish, we're not even going to have the bullish conversation until we start cracking above some of these, we did today, kind of making that bull flag or reversal picture, uh, and that's the thing guys, bull flags and reversals, or bear flags, they, they're going to look the same, so now who's, it's on the job of, you know, who's going to convince who, are the bears going to call this a lower high, or the bulls saying, here we go, not much to go off there. Uh, as far as that goes, that kind of looks like a, a good uh, gush position. Everybody's still trading that. Uh, as far as biotech, man, I thought we were going to go for it. Here was my alert to buy uh, LABU. Did not get it. So, in fact, we're going to take this alert. We're going to move it right here. Because you know what happens when we get there? We got above that zone. That is my alert to buy LABU with a stop down here. That's it. Focus on this zone right inside here. And if we break below that, then I'm out. Other than that, I'm kind of interested in LABU tomorrow. That's assuming futures stay green overnight. I'm kind of going to, I'm thinking bull flag. I think all the uncertainty was SoftBank, and I'm, I was super relieved to find out they, they closed their positions. They sold it. So we had SoftBank, are they unloading billions? You had Tesla, we're doing a $5 billion offering sometime. Uh, you know, and Tesla went out and said, we closed it. We sold it all. So none, none of that's looming over our heads anymore. All that sell side activity. You guys ask when I care about the news. I care when it's billions involving, um, you know, sell side or, or buying. When there's that much money in the market. Because this is a supply and demand. More buyers it goes up. More sellers it goes down. Full stop. There's no other reason. Uh, it's just everyone's excuse to buy. That changes things up. Uh, so knowing all that's kind of over and done. I thought that was good news for me. Uh, no, James, I'm not. Did you say something? If you're interested or want to know more about Don's private mentorship group, check out the second link in the description. Feel free to shoot me a DM on Discord. Oh, everyone do me a solid. Send Kabir a direct message. Let him know what it's like. <laughs> Arm got a little love the other day as tech support. Uh, let's see. <laughs> 
No, Kabir, were you ever a advanced trader in LPP? I didn't think you. I think there was rumors that where you learned from was probably why you never were. Well, let's get into it. Uh, Tan got a look. A lot of stuff looks like this. We gapped up and pushed up. Now we need to stay up. So if your ticker looks like this, and I have a zone right here, if you are a YouTube member because you clicked the join button, where's my little hand at? It'll show up on here. I, I need to know where the join button's actually at. Over this way, on the bottom. If you click that, you guys have my charts in the community tab. If you're you, uh, in the mentorship, you guys have my community, or you guys have my charts. Long story short, and if it's above that zone tomorrow, if it's a little bit red, pulls back and tests the top of that zone, I wouldn't jump ship just yet. I think that we would probably need to settle because we're not bearish now until we break below. So still at a 50-50, but probably leaning towards the bullish side. So if we saw a couple red candles, maybe some profit taking, let's just see how red it gets. Now, if we start to get some crazy momentum, if we're red overnight, we're going to gap right down below. It's sell side continue. If you're in a tech stock, you're probably in trouble. Uh, you know, grab it, maybe SQQQ, QQQ puts. Um, know what you're getting into before you get into it, though. Was that a future for S&P Tech? Um, NA, if you're on TradingView, do NAS 100 USD. That's a CFD. This number on the right will be a little bit off, but all the candles will look the same. That'll be like your live, like if you don't pay for the data. But that's why I use these. So here's the Russell. Again, we've already gone over all these. I'll touch base real quick. Bounce out of this zone. Lower high, we're going to continue. If we come back down and bounce right here, you know what we didn't make was a lower low. That's also a bullish sign. What we don't want is lower lows. Any lower lows, everything's intact. We're just headed down. Bears, they're doing just fine. Uh, so this is the cues right here. Bull flag or reversal. Uh, again, if we do sell off in the morning, you know, I'll, I'll be up on one position, down on a couple others. Uh, if we hold right here, now we're talking. But I still think, I don't think we're headed to all-time highs. I really don't. Uh, what I'm on the lookout for now, after the news, and, and I think is good news, I kind of think tech still needs to cool off. We need to chill out. Uh, so I'm looking for a lower high, um, or a, I'm looking for a horizontal position. So I'm kind of curious if we push all up here, do we bounce anywhere in here? I uh, remember Spice to do these little volatility boxes. We would just stay inside there. We have this leg down right here. So where are we at inside this? You know, are we going to stay completely horizontal here? Are we going to break out and go horizontal here? Uh, I kind of want to see where we are inside this leg down. And that's kind of where I'm watching. So right now, I'm bullish until we get that lower high. Jameson. You said you asked if end of October was good for our golf match, and I replied. Even gave you a date. <laughs> what are the Fibonacci guys saying, though? <laughs> the Fibonacci people? Uh, S&P, same situation. Bull flag reversal. Lower high or bull flag, where do we go from here? If you guys want that speed bump zone, what I'm watching, it's literally created right inside here. So if we tag this, thinking we sell back off down to here for a higher low, if we come back down here, I want that to hold. What is Fibonacci even based on? That's the guy's name. He was a mathematician. He's been gone a while. A long while. Um, it's actually just a, a pattern in numbers. It's actually crazy how much it plays out in the whole world, uh, just in everything. Uh, fun to look into. I don't really care for it on charts. The thing is, guys, we have charts and numbers and the way our brains work. We just are designed to look for patterns, which is why I tell you guys to be careful. Only you guys can see your charts. So you go you go draw on a Picasso on there, 9,000 lines, you're going to sell yourself a position and not even know it. You're, oh, I should be bullish because I have 42 lines that say it's going to bounce here. Now the 36 over here and about 12 that say it won't, but I don't care about those because all the rest are, are bullish, right? You're going to find a pattern when you start looking. You've all had that crazy X, right? Hey, you stayed at what? You stayed at work five minutes late. What's going on? You know, like they just start, and then all of a sudden it'd be something totally different. I saw you take two bites out of that taco. You must be cheating. Like, you know, like they just found the wrong pattern somewhere completely crazy. 
Uh, but you got to be careful, especially in this when it involves your money. You're going to find weird patterns. So that's why stuff like Fibonacci stuff kind of works. Uh, well, it's kind of weird. But again, strength in numbers. If everyone's looking at the same thing, I strike the numbers. More buyers and sellers. Let's break down Apple. I'm going to turn it to members chat for a little bit for the first. Let's do, let's get five minutes out. And then we'll go to a public chat. Let's get some call outs going. We're ready. We're rocking and rolling. As far as Apple goes. Mm, Apple needs to get above here. Probably bullish Apple. I still like, I mean, as far as Apple goes, it's one of the easiest ones to get. And we kind of have that same kind of bull flag reversal situation, but I would actually expect more sellers. I'd be on the lookout up here for Apple. We're just underneath it. So getting inside and above that will be pretty bullish. What's my Zodiac? Uh, depends on what calendar you go by. Uh, the one everyone knows um, that's missing a month or missing a sign is uh, I'm a Capricorn. Full calendar, I'm the one right before that. Let's see. I just like you talk about the Fibonacci people. <laughs> Do you think they wear yoga pants? Yoga pants, people. You like the analogies I give? I gotta be careful. I try to make it easy for everybody to remember. Wait a minute, we were designed by, by me. Uh, let's see. All right, let's let's uh let's crank this out. So we got. This is a new feature uh, for you members. I know a lot of you guys are in the mentorship now. Uh, Friday we're gonna start doing members member streams. So everyone will be able to see it. Members will be in the chat if it ever uh, works. Might just be rocking uh, while that loads. Oracle. I saw somebody ask what I think about Peloton. And let's answer that question really quick. Because I'm going live tomorrow for the after party. <laughs> I'm going to short Peloton. Uh, that's happening. If we're going to run up tomorrow. I'm probably going to grab a short position for earnings. Well, YouTube's being YouTube. Messing up. So for the next few minutes, I'm going to take call outs from the, uh, the green names, the members. Wow, so Oracle just, oh, was this uh, positive earnings? It's on the 10th. That's tomorrow. This looks like an earnings run up. Uh, but I would be very careful about, it's kind of hard to find that cluster, but it looks like right here. Say so watch out for this area. We're literally right in it right now, so. Base out here, continuation. Uh, if we reject here, I would look for a dip buy. Uh, I'd say you're probably looking at, at buying the dip right here. Kind of hesitated, and then we just gapped into it and, and, and pushed up. So I do like that area. If we did reject, come down here, make a higher low. No big deal. You got earnings tomorrow, so it's probably going to be just an earnings run up. Workhorse. Boom. Was there? I totally forgot again. Is there any news on Workhorse? Did they announce anything with their uh, their deal? I will say, be careful, guys. If you're in Workhorse and they announce they're not going to get a deal with USPS, you're going to watch this move get erased like it never happened. Probably pretty quickly. Can you do Etsy? They haven't had much movement since the news of the inclusion. Yeah, we'll check that out. Uh, let's see, workhorse, workhorse is rocking up. I got this loading sign over here now, it's just kind of in my way. Clicked on something on YouTube. Mm -hmm. I don't know, something's causing this catalyst, and I don't know, if there's no news coming out, I'm kind of curious who knows something we don't. Got above it, came back down, kind of bounced right out of it, still has some buyers. On this, I don't like FOMOing into a trade. So a pullback, a dip buy would be great. I'd probably have, there's just a quick support there at 23. I, I'd probably look to play that if I could. Um, other than that, I, I gotta, when I see something like this and I think, man, I gotta get in, there's 
a catalyst could be right around the corner. You don't know. Maybe someone else does. For whatever reason, blanket statement, I'll play the hourly trend, which means my stop is going, I get in here, my stop is right below this previous hourly candle wick. Because uh, anything inside there, hourly trend is fine. Could rally, base rally. I'd do that. And if it tags out, then look to get back in at the 23 mark. I haven't looked at Jets in a while. I wonder how good airlines are doing. So we clearly see that, right, the uptrend. We have all the sellers right here, though, across the, most of the Jets plane. So I'd watch out for a rejection there. I'd kind of just play that. As long as we kept making higher highs, we're good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I wouldn't want that going below this at all. So anything right here is a horizontal play. Anything below that, it's a break of that pattern for me. So my full stop would be 17.75. Looking for a breakout above. So if we hit this and sold off one more time, no big deal. Again, I'll be looking for the breakout up. Plug. For from now on, one ticker per person. Just so we're not doing someone's watch list. You know, we really need to get above here first, and we just cracked above it, kind of. Let's see if we actually close above here. Uh, same situation. Plug. I want to keep that trend alive, so I'll be fine here. It needs to break out now. My stop would be 1185. That's a big one. Uh, maybe 11, uh, maybe 1190. Uh, but I'd be bullish on that one. MRVL Facebook Marvel Tech. Huh? I like this one. Uh, a pullback down to here, no problem for me. Uh, but watch out, we have nothing but sellers right here. Uh, so I definitely keep an eye out up there, as a matter of fact. Nothing really in between. Uh, I bet we probably gap down somewhere here so i would like to buy here at this zone stop out here and maybe we can ride it zone to zone facebook i have three boys surrendered by males surrounded by males i hear a lot of crazy x analogies <laughs> it's funny i always have i grew up with three sisters that's it no brothers so i'm the exact opposite Facebook. So Facebook got the gap up today and sideways. If I'm going to get Facebook and bullish, full stop is 272.35. AMD, let's see. AMD. So interesting thing about AMD. AMD had a lot of call volume today. And it looks like they might be kind of breaking out. You want AMD to get right above here first. Yeah. Full blown just right there. Uh, Again, hammer on glass play. I actually like these plays. A little bit shorter than what we normally on. I don't usually... I mean, it shows up on the hourly, shows up wherever. But playing the hourly trend, I think I like AMD. If, if Texas started rocking and rolling, AMD might uh, might see some of that love. So I'm looking for the breakout above that. AMD, Etsy, ETS. All right, we'll do a couple more, and then uh, we'll turn it over to... Uh, Deletes 42 ticker call out. <laughs> I think it's the MCI airport, yeah. But yeah, Kansas City, Missouri. Don't get weird ideas. I'm probably better at killing people. Or wait, we're not probably not, probably not supposed to say that on YouTube. Uh, Etsy, they really aren't doing anything. S and P, yeah, hey, <laughs> sells off. We're back up. We're literally just basing out right here. Uh, bullish above, bearish below. Kind of a trend down, but out overall, bigger picture look like. So we got the bounce here. Look like there's gonna be a positive catalyst. Came back down, did not make that lower low. So this is an example of what I was just talking about earlier, where we pulled back and we're we're fine. We did not make that lower low. It's what you wanted to change. So if I was bullish, my stop be one ten eighty five. American Airlines Intel. <laughs> we're we're at to cruise through these really fast. And I have no idea how many guys are even watching or anything right now because I got the loading screen up from clicking on the uh, 
chat. That's what I get. Uh, let's see, American Airlines probably needs to get above here. Same situation. Like we talked about on Jets, you can see this cross probably across the board. Make some higher lows, so bullish above that. Intel. And apparently tell us more of this Piton put play. <laughs> I don't know it yet. Uh, if, if Peloton puts up tomorrow, or pushes up tomorrow, I'm going to go ahead and short it for earnings. Uh, but it's a gamble. And I mean that, like some of you guys think, you get some of you guys are real quick to call it out in a chat too. It's just a gamble position, just a short this, you know, a little bit of that. Uh, that's probably a confidence thing because you don't want to just look like a fool, like you called something out. It's probably your ego trading, so I'd make sure you check that. Maybe I'm wrong, but I do see a lot of this. Um, and also, should you guys even be gambling right now? This is a business. This is possibly your next career. Maybe don't take the gamble plays. It's fun to make some money. I get it. I can't tell you no because I take them. But compare your shoes to mine. I mean, we're in a different spot. Uh, Intel. Intel I like, though. I'd be looking for the breakout. Same with AMD. All right. Looks like at Nikola. All right. Then we're on to the... Uh, what do I say, public guys? Everyone else on YouTube? <laughs> Nikola. Uh, so this kind of sucks. I told you guys last night I was going to stop out at like 4785 or something like that. Uh, it was up pre-market, <laughs> and I just don't like the ticker. Uh, I mean, looks like I, yeah, I still would have tagged out. But I ended up selling it anyway. I was like, you know what? I don't really care for this company. <laughs> Sold it and bought Tesla with the profits. Uh, so I couldn't have played that any better. There was nothing in the charts that said sell it. I sold it because it was just Nikola. Uh, that being said, though, I mean, if I was playing it and actually paying attention, the break of that right there, like here's that pennant hammer on glass play. We should be breaking up. Seeing that head to the south side, that's when you knew it was going to sell off. This is the GM news. There's nothing in it for Nick Nikola. I don't even like it down here anymore. So, in fact... Before we leave this, GM is the one I'd be looking for. GM got the better of the deal. They get the, they get that hype. They get to say, hey, guys, we're an EV company now. Yeah. Look at us do absolutely nothing still. Uh, but that's a almost a picture-perfect bull flag. Uh, so if you're in GM, especially if you're in for a long term, uh, this could turn into something for GM. We'll see. Uh, but I'd rather look at GM than Nikola. Uh, let's see. I bought options on that one. There's got to be a better way for your name. O o five it two three eight. I sold it because it's just Nikola. Yeah, it really is. But every time I tell you guys I sold a position, you're like, "What on the charts?" Like there was actually nothing in the charts. It played out perfectly because it sold off. There was just nothing there. I learned my lesson with gambling on earnings. In the end, I want to do this long term, so it's good to remind us of that. It's easy to go in with the hype; it really is. But this isn't this isn't a Nintendo game, and the money you are using right now—you went to work, you traded something for the. Yeah, you know, everyone tries to be the uplifting one, but the most valuable thing you have is your time. That's why I trade, so I can have my time. I do whatever I want. It's not to sit here all day. I don't trade to sit at a computer either. So. Don't gamble and piss away money that you can use for something else. Amazon, we talked about. Did we not break this one down? We should have. Uh, yeah, bullish above here. We're watching. Again, this is not a zone right here. This is that bull flag reversal. All the sellers are hiding out right here, I think. Uh, so some of them might have showed up. Again, if you're short, that's a type one entry right there. Like Just tagged it right there for you. Uh, I wouldn't be, oh, personally, I'm long this right now. I think that's the bull flag about to play out. Hopefully, tech follows suit, so we'll watch the cues with this. My shoes are bigger. 215 people here. How many likes do we got? Are we at the 50% ratio? Because that's when we start doing calls for everybody. DP, HC. Your zones are gold, well worth the YouTube membership. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. We're at the 50% ratio? I hate YouTube right now. Why can't they just get something that works? It'd be so amazing if they did. Uh, let's see. This is Lordstown, right? Is that what I read? Lordstown Motor. So they got some love today. Nice little spike up. And held it. 
for a lot, I know a few tickers look like this, and we're on the hourly. I mean, really just grab this area right here, guys. This isn't typically what zones are made out of, but grab that for your attention. We got the buyers that came up, and then here's all the sellers technically right here, but the buyers came back in right here and said, this is where that train stops. This is where we buy the dip and bought it right back up. So you want to make sure that holds in the morning. I'm Neil. <laughs> okay. Just call me zero five. Okay. Uh, I'm right now. My options on the queues were they were in the 18th, so they're coming out. One hundred nineteen likes. Okay, that puts us there. Ready to rock. Um, GBP cat. I haven't traded a British pound. For, it seems like forever. Man, I, once the Euro USD went sideways, I should have recognized that a long time ago. I feel like I've missed out on some trades, opportunity costs. I'd be watching this literally right where it's at. Um, is it time to take a play right here? Now, this kind of caught my eye right here, like this little base that we, we got out, but I think the where the real buyers are at. The money is going to be right here. We're just on top of it. I would be looking for a buy right now, I think. Yeah. As far as the technicals go. If that breaks, there's not a lot down here. We got this area. So kind of a little drop, base drop. We hold it right here and then bounce above up here. Yes, yeah, so it looks like our zone for that is actually going to be right there. Yeah, I'd rather trade long. If that breaks, yeah, I'd probably bearish so we get back here. SQ. Again, if I miss your ticker, just toss it up again. What? Square. See, this is what happens when you have a company that Elon didn't make, right? When you compare Square versus PayPal, Elon made PayPal, sold it to fund Tesla. So PayPal probably never failed. Uh, so just a, you you might even caught that by support down here. Hmm, not out of the woods yet until we get right above where this right here. I wouldn't really talk about anything bullish till we actually get in close above that. Uh, but realistically, you got to keep an eye out for that area right here. Oh, we already hit it and rejected. You got no wind to hold them. Oh, you got no, you got no wind to hold them. No wind to fold them. <laughs> Jameson, you did say I did say the nineteenth, right? That week before we get crazy. Uh, where's October? Yeah, like the 23rd or the 16th. Golf all day. Fridays are easy because who cares about Fridays? Fridays, there's almost like two trades to take on Friday. Uh, you saw natural gas. Natural gas? If you took a loss in, in uh, you gas, close your eyes. <laughs> on that move up. Oh man, here's where they delete you guys. It's like now that that's gone. Pushes up. Uh, I would not have wanted it to get below here, to be honest. I'm watching that right inside there. We're at the bottom. If that's going to bull flag and go up, I would still buy this dip. My stop would be right below that wick. Um, that, that's where I'd be at, though. I did do AMD already, too. I thought I saw another. I thought I saw yeah, Euro USD. No, Ethereum. Never, never mind. Ethereum USD. Well, I mean, if I'm gonna, I don't really zone out crypto. If I am, it's right there. I mean, that literally just kind of created that zone from right there. I'd say it's a dip buy for Ethereum.
Tesla, baby. Hopefully Tesla's up. Uh, Dizzy, I did go over Tesla in the beginning. We'll, we'll, I'm, we'll touch base again because I know there's more of you guys here. Disney. So we're not we're not boycotting this anymore. We are. Tournament camps. We, where we go? What's, what's going on here? Bullish over the weekend. So many people downloaded Disney. Boycott because Mulan was made at a uh, re-education center. Gapped up, sold off, trying to hold this. I'd say it looks like we might start to break our way up to the upside of Disney right here. RGR. Is 55 a zone, you said? I'd say right here is. So what's that put that? Uh, 57, 50, uh, basically 58 to 60. You had 55. Yeah, so that even lines up back here. No, I don't think I'd... No, not really. Yeah, your next zone down is actually going to be right here. Uh, more importantly, yeah, it's trending down just fine, too. You'll have that as a support, oh, which already bounced right here, and then it came right back down. So, yeah, if that breaks, I probably would just patiently wait for that zone. And I would set my alert at price 66.15 in case it wants to break above that. I'm bullish. Disney. They made the movie the same place they make the toys. <laughs> Tilray. We haven't done any pot stocks. Looks like nothing's changed. Uh, this was what the hype that it could something could get legal or something like that, and then just bleeding back off. There's one zone to watch right here though. Right, we're on top of it. Now the herd's kind of just headed that way, so I don't like it. Like when we jump into zones, I'll catch that knife all day long. But when the whole herd is just kind of slowly migrating that way, you probably won't see it liven up right here. Uh, maybe you get some buyers right here. It might push to the top of that zone and then sell back off. Do you ever use volume analysis or just price? Um, I wouldn't make fun of you for using volume. Maybe that's a weird way to word it. I can tell by the what's going on just by looking at the charts where the volume's at. Um, if something's crazy, I can pull up volume. Uh, but no, I don't typically use it. Uh, that's not to say I don't understand it, though. Does that make sense? You guys get where I'm coming from on that one? Uh, workhorse, we talked about this one. It's pushing up. That's what we talked about getting in on like probably the hourly trend. Uh, if not, getting back into the 23 mark. What platform do I use? Uh, actually, my Robinhood accounts for options, uh, but then TradeStation for futures and, and stocks. Uh, and then a Wanda for Forex. Thoughts on Rocket? Well, obviously it's amazing. Uh, fundamentally, at least, it's amazing. That chart, we were selling off. We were actually doing just fine selling off. We Blowing through this zone was not the good sign for me, but today that we actually gapped into it, pushed up, sold off, sellers showed up, and they got it right to here, that's a bullish sign for me. So if I'm going to get in Rocket, I mean, it, it's, it's here now. Uh, that's an easy play. Play rocket, stop right below here, 2320. You're not going to risk much. You ever lose level two? No. I don't use any of that. Once I find out how easy it is to manipulate that, I don't. Doesn't bother me at all. GP, green power. Motor, newly listed Canadian EV. Green power. It could be the next Tesla. Elon says we sell Teslas in Canada. Um, your your trouble spot's gonna be right here. We're kind of headed up to it, so you watch out for that. But it kind of had like a higher low pattern going on right here. I would just watch out for sellers right up here. If I was in it right now, my stop would be fourteen thirty five. Make sure to like, especially if you broke down your call. Yeah, but I do appreciate that, guys. Thumbs up button for me. Oh, and if you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. I'm this close to hitting 11K tonight. 
nothing nothing special really it's just that i hit a thousand i hit ten thousand exactly on the 31st it's been nine days and i grew a thousand it's pretty awesome i think a huge shout out to you guys swbi the smith and wesson can't go wrong i like smith and wesson Uh, well, I like their product. As of right now, I'd be watching out for a rejection right here. Now, if we base out, that's bullish. If we get above and come back down and tag us from the top side, I'd take the bullish play. Right now, i got to keep an eye out for sellers right there. I have Rocket, September 18th, 34 call. Should I get out and take the loss or hold it till the end? you got to understand how options work. You know what? Hang on, this might Let's pull it up for you guys. Before we end it here, I gotta get to the mentorship stream. I did go over Tesla. Tesla's in the beginning. Rocket stock gets its first downgrade. Wine analysis has to sell. That's just bearish for the day. second you got rocket the 1834 is that what you said it's never 1834 i hate this so much i gotta do everything on this monitor and it just jumps over here like did you mean this one no not at all actually sorry so i don't even like automatic cars i hate that my corvette's an automatic now uh, shift when i say shift that's it when i tell you what gear to be in uh my orange one at least my blue one's manual Um, but they only come in an automatic. Thanks, Chevy. September 18th, 34 call. Where are we going? That's... So we got a $2 expected move between now $2.70. On Rocket, we are at... Looks like we're at 23 so it's expecting, what, a $25 move? So it's expected 26 by the end of by that week. So that's next week. So look, you have 34 right here. Where's the delta at? You're 34 right here. That's a 4% chance of that touching $34. Whoever sold you that has a 96% chance of winning. Delta. Uh, delta rate at which change dollar. Delta. It's what every YouTuber sounds like. But anyway. Yes, if it moves up a dollar, that contract goes up four cents. That right now tells me you have a 4% chance of that even touching in the money. Uh, I'd probably go ahead and lock that. I can't tell you what to do. I'd lock that one in. Uh, it's got some decent open interest. Probably just people. Because they'll buy that and they'll, they'll go from four to, you know, it'd take a bit, but maybe seven cents on a good decent push up. You don't really start getting anywhere until we start to uh, move up. Should be nasty. It's ten cents. I mean, that's a fifty percent move just from right there. If it moves a, uh, it had to move a couple dollars. So you can take your price right here, guys. You can say, uh, so "Where are we at? We're at twenty-three, so twenty-four bucks." Uh, how how much will this contract be worth if, if Rocket shoots up a couple dollars? It'll go from one ten to, to two ten. So you have a 34 contract. Rocket tomorrow pushes up $2. It'll be worth 15 cents. Minus your theta. So 13 cents. If you're ever on the fence of subbing, that should have won you over. <laughs> so you're saying there's a chance. Uh, there's about four of them out of 100. 4% chance. Uh, so more stuff is, is coming to you guys as far as options goes. Uh, again, I do have an options course. I'm not going to give it all away, but it, I meant what I said. It's kind of embarrassing how much you guys know about options. And the fact that you guys are trading options, you don't know how dangerous that is. And ask anybody in the mentorship, ask actually anybody who actually has the options course of mine. They took the course, looked back at what they were doing, and then you recognize just how stupid those plays were. I'm not calling you stupid. The YouTubers you're following probably are. I'll say that. But uh, your plays are probably crazy. There's a reason someone sold you that contract. Let's see. 
Uh, I did not do ODFL. I'll do that right now, and we're going to get to the mentorship stream. <laughs> I can barely trade stocks. I can't imagine options. If you can barely trade stocks, I can tell you there's an option strategy that I do over the course. It's actually better than stocks. If you are emotionally challenged, you are an emotional person, there's actually an even better trade strategy for you using options. That is safer. It'll keep you in the play longer. If you're the worst bag holder in the world, you should actually start with the spreads I go over. It's an, a certain kind of spread um, in the options course. It's an 80% probability that you will make it. And that's it. Oh, and I can find it all with the deltas, by the way, using probability of touch. All from the delta on the Robinhood app. Uh, yeah, it's just evenings for the mentorship. We're about to get into it right now. Uh, Old Dominion. So looks like we stopped right here and gapped up. Came back down, tested it. We're kind of hanging out right here. So I would actually base all of tomorrow just off of this right here, I think. Let's check the hourly. Uh, that was like the main chunk. Closed just below that. Yeah, I'm just going to draw a box right here. I would really be watching this area right here. And then how it translates over here, we kind of got above. If we gapped up into this, we're, we're probably fine. If we get any lower, it's going to come back down and test this. Buy the trading suite. Oh, yes, trading suite. We're adding on to that. Uh, when I add to, there's the, if you go to the Teachable we'll link down below, um, this is the last the last pitch for you guys. There's the trading suite and options course. The trading suite will have everything right now. It has a few extra videos. As I add videos to that, I am increasing the price. Uh, once I finish that course, it'll be available to buy separate. So we have options in there in the beginning of supply and demand. That is the difference between the trading suite and the options course. The trading suite has it all and will have more. Uh, if you buy it, the, it, the sooner you buy it, the cheaper it is. That's how it is. Um, you know, that's, that's not a sales pitch. It's just the safest or the fairest way I could come up with that. So, um, all right, we got to uh, into here. I got to get to the uh, mentorship chat. In order to get into Casa de Don, the secret password at the door. It's definition to an options Greek. It really is. I mean, it's hard. I don't. You guys know I don't do ads. I don't sell anything. I, it's hard for me to even talk about my own stuff. But picture yourself from where I'm at, and every one of you guys just tell me the options plays you're in. And it's like that is ridiculous. That is like your kids came up and said, "Hey, we played in traffic today. I saw a blue car. I saw a yellow car. This one was really awesome." Like. But hold the phone. You were playing in traffic? Yeah, we jumped on that special one where everyone's going one way at 70 miles an hour. You know, one of those kids isn't going to make it back. So, I got to get to the mentorship now. Uh, that's really what it is like for you guys. Tell me about some of your options plays. Like, oh, I'm glad you still have an account. <laughs> I know you made money. I'm really proud of that. But, huh, be careful. So, Guys, I'm going to go live tomorrow. We're going to do the uh, the Peloton earnings. I'll end it here. If Peloton does push up tomorrow even higher, probably going to grab a short position. I don't know yet. Let's see what the expected move is. I'll probably keep it somewhere inside this standard deviation, maybe even at the money. Uh, I like options because they'll be cheap. Uh, it'll be a cheaper way to play it. And if we get that exposure to the downside like no one's expecting because Peloton's so amazing, I'll be rich. So I'll see you guys uh, tomorrow night. And for everyone else in mentorship, two seconds. That stream is coming up.